Okay, welcome back to the shoddiest uh, gameplay of uh, Mega Man 4 on all of YouTube. Oh my gosh, boy! Yeah, that was some that was some stellar gameplay, really on top of my on top of my game. A game was on display there, boy. Did you see that? Talk about run and gun. It was like run and gun and get hit by everything. Jesus Christ. Actually, this this song is pretty good. I don't know. I think I think Mega Man Four is where it started to like not seem as good, in my opinion. Just because this is where it sort of stops being like nostalgic. Like Mega Man Two and Three are nostalgic, but like Four, Five, and Six or whatever, they're not. Uh, they're not as nostalgic. So that probably is factoring in why I uh, sort of don't like this one as much. Um, but then other people. Um, I've sort of like confirmed that that the quality did start to uh, did start to be like you know hit or miss on some of the levels. No, this uh, this sand effect, this quick sand effect, actually is uh, pretty good. Okay, uh, I don't remember what that does exactly. Is that the? Um... It said B. What is what is? Oh, balloon. Okay. Basically, like uh, item, uh... and I don't know my items from Mega Man, from Mega Man Two. Item two is the uh, is the jet thingy, right? It's one, right? It, three is the one that uh, climbs up the wall. It like bounces and it climbs up the walls. I think, right? Maybe. Actually, don't know. Also, I did not have enough time to uh, to jump onto that guy. Yeah, balloon is actually like super useful. Boy, you know, I never thought of this. If you can you revisit stages that you already completed? Because if you miss the balloon, if you beat this guy, you might not uh, like have access to it, maybe. And uh, balloon makes a bunch of the parts in this game like easier. I don't know. There's that part of me that's just like, oh, they already ran out of ideas. They're already like copying. It's like, well, I mean, like I said in the other episode, it's like there's only like so many things you can do. Whenever I look at those uh, those guys that go across the spikes, I always thought that like the uh, like the red thing in the middle was like a nose. I mean, it's got the two eyes, so I thought the nose was like there or whatever, too. So I thought it was like a full-on face. Okay, so I guess we'll try uh, time stop on this guy. If it doesn't work, then we'll just uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, it freezes them, so I can shoot them, but I didn't shoot them. Uh, Oh, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't just, uh, activate until you run out. Uh, like in Mega Man 2, it, it just, like, it just, like, activated until you ran out of juice. Oops, I got down button again. Why am I getting down buttoned? That's, like, the third time I've gotten down buttoned, I think. Alright, piece of cake. Uh, he does, like, normally run around and, like, shoot things at me, but... So if you've never, like, seen gameplay of this, uh, he does actually do stuff. But, uh, I guess you won't see it in this, uh, Let's Play. <laughs> and, I don't know, Mega Man's eye just looked, like, his eyes just, like, looked, like, kind of, like, creepy, sort of. Okay, uh, who's next? Um, I actually don't know who Feral Man works on either. I'm pretty sure... I don't know, Skull Man is like, kind of like a pain in the ass. I remember that. Dust Man's like hard too, and Dive Man is like the hardest guy to fight with the uh, Buster, I think, right? Oh wait, no, Dive Man and Ring Man are both like hard to fight with the Buster. Uh, I guess let's try Dust Man, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I just realized. 
for the longest time, I thought that I thought that these were chainsaws in the background. I was just about to like comment on how it's like weird how there's chainsaws in the background on this level for like no reason. God damn it. Those are like machines like pumping out things, I think, right? Is that what they're supposed to be? Okay, well it's better to get a game over at the start of the level than to get like balls deep into a level just to get the game over, I suppose. What are those supposed to be? Okay, um, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. I just have the, the memory of a squirrel. Actually, squirrels have good memory. Squirrel is when you want to say attention span. Yeah, I don't know, like, th like this environment, for example. Just like the color of this like generic junk, just like the generic stuff on top. Like it just feels like this like, this area just feels like generic. And they like copy these guys from like Mega Man 1. I don't know, it's probably not very good like let's player taste to spend the entire game talking about like why the game is like shitty. Then again, I have done it before. I stand behind all of every time I did it, I stand behind it, behind it to this day. <laughs> but it's like, yes, everyone knows that Mega Man 4 is where it started to like not be as good a quality or whatever. But it is kind of weird to be like, here's all the reasons why this game sucks. By the way, you should still keep watching the entire video. Or whatever, right? What is, um, what is that dude's name? Pretty sure that guy has a name, doesn't he? Okay, this part, I might actually die at least once. Oh my god. And it was almost right at that moment. You know what, I don't know the name of those uh, hard cat guys either. Uh, how the hell are you supposed to survive that? The hell are you supposed to do there? Uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to do that. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, try again, and hopefully it'll work out the second time. What keeps pushing me back? Something like nudged me back a little bit right there. What the hell is that? Are you supposed to like do it in like two? Are you supposed to like go forward and then like back that ass up? And like do it in like two passes? Like you're not supposed to one cycle that, are you? My gosh, you just gotta, you just gotta, uh, you just gotta go for it and make it. All right. Okay, boy. I wonder if I'll be good at this game by the time we're done. Man, that first episode was like, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, I was just, like. I don't know. Like, this is just gonna be like a chill. Kind of like low stakes let's play it's like okay well let's not let's not have it be that chill and that low stakes we do still have to beat it and i also had it in my head that like this game this is like where it starts to get easier but then again it, i guess it's easier to just like watch someone do it versus actually doing it myself you know okay well i highly doubt dust works on this guy well it does technically work Okay, so when he shoots his dust thingies, yeah, they go in like diagonal directions or whatever. So then you just want to uh, be like directly like above it. You just want to like jump straight up. 
That way they'll go diagonally off to the sides and, and miss you. Yeah, that actually is pretty easy to dodge. Um, I think I like, when I played this as a kid, I didn't like grasp that you could just like stand still and the things will miss you. Maybe that's why I had a hard time with this guy as a kid. I am pretty sure Skullman is still a bitch though. Okay, well eventually I'll take out so many guys that like statistically, like it's gonna become statistically more and more likely that I'll have the weakness. Uh, okay, so who does dust work on? Does it actually work on Drillman? And I'm like silly because I'm like, who does it work on while I have him highlighted? Actually, you know what? Let me make a save state. I am just curious. You can go back to dudes that you already played. All right. Yeah, I was just curious. Um... Oh man, I don't know, man. After watching, after watching Ryu Car, I'm like scared of Ring Man. <laughs> Ring Man and Dive Man are like, are like freaking hard. Let's do Skull Man. Skull Man's like kind of like I remember Skull Man like gave me a hard time too uh, as a kid, but maybe uh, maybe adult me will fare better. See, like this level is like kind of weird. It's like Skull Man, but it's all like bones, but there's also like mountains, plateaus in the back, and there's like clouds, so we're like in the, we're like in the air. We're like in the sky or something. We're at like a high elevation somehow. And these like rib bones just go on forever. But I do like the um uh, I do like the amount of purple in this or whatever, in this level. Wait, does that dinosaur skeleton have, like, no teeth? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, you know what? This song is, like... Well, this, like, this first part of the song is, like, pretty good. But then when it goes... I don't think that part of the song is good. Like, this part's pretty good. It's like, it's, uh, you can, like, jam out to it, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure up is, like, the correct way. I don't remember what's, like, over here. I also forget which is the second one. I like never memorize which of these it is. I've done, I've gone through this so many times. It's the third one, all right. At least you don't have to turn all the way back. Oh, and that's it, all right. It is kind of weird for them to just do like a, like a side room. It's just like a couple screen lengths, so you just go back. Oh wait, they did it in Bright Man stage too, I suppose. So I guess they are like, I guess like branching paths is sort of like a thing. So we had an E-Tank in that room and there's already another E-Tank here. If I fall and hold right, will you collect it? Actually, let's just uh, take the safe route. Uh, okay, let's just balloon so I don't risk missing this jump. It's still technically a risk. Okay, apparently I thought you could uh, shoot your buster while you were shooting uh, balloons or whatever, but maybe not. All right, so we're up to four E tanks. All right. Okay, so far so good. They got one extra, one extra life or whatever. Is it better to just jump over this guy, I wonder? Okay, never mind. Goes down pretty easily.
All right, piece of cake. We're already at the end. Okay, so I guess I could try uh, dust. I could try dust, Pharaoh, and and I think those are the two that I have, right? That I didn't already use. All right, dust is the one. All right, sweet. Oh, and it destroys your shield too. That's kind of cool. I don't think I actually even knew that. Uh, please die. Oh, it does not destroy your shield. Okay, I was thinking he was maybe gonna shoot the shield at me. But then that would be like a direct copy of Woodman. That's like, well, I wouldn't put it past him, but turns out he did not shoot it at me. Why did, uh, why, why was it destroying the shield and then it stopped destroying the shield? I wonder. I have no idea. All right, Skull Barrier. Oh man, excuse me. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll take on uh, the next guy. I'll probably save Ring and Dive Man for last, just because I'm a scared. Um, actually, with four E tanks, I should be able to take him out. We should be fine. So, uh, we'll take on some more dudes next time. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.